Hi, I'm James, and a lot of people have been responding to some of my videos showing Fallout 4 running on Intel HD graphics, um, and asking how I got the game to run without crashing. Uh, simple answer is, I didn't really. Um, basically the game is fairly unstable generally on Intel graphics. Um, so you'll see here, a lot of the time when you get it to run, it will crash back to the desktop. So, the solution I found for this, um, thanks to Reddit user Path for posting this up, um, and I found it works for me, uh, most of the time anyway, is to run this program here. We have DXCPL. Um, I didn't have it installed on Windows 10 by default. I will put a link in the description for a uploaded copy of this program as I've found it a little bit tricky to get hold of so I've put it up on my site and what we're going to do is load this up and this allows us to force a lower feature level for certain DirectX games um, so if they're based on DirectX 11 forcing it to use a lower feature set so what we're going to do is click on edit list and we want to now say enter a process or folder name so we are going to say search and we are going to go to program files x86 steam steam apps common fallout 4 i'm just going to copy that onto the clipboard and then select fallout 4.exe with that done now we want to go to this drop down list and because i've already done this before it's kind of set and we are going to select feature limit uh, level limit 11.0 and hit apply and then OK. So now if we open up a window and we run Fallout 4, it will still take us to the launcher and we can see the options here. We have it set to 720p, all low detail and if we hit play Uh, I'm capturing through a capture card here, so just when it's changing resolution, it loses input for a few moments there. And we should hopefully, after a few moments, there we go, the intro video. And now if we can skip through this, we should be able to load into the game. Um, I found this works pretty consistently. Sometimes the game appears to not open into a full screen window and will crash out still, um, but just relaunching it I found tends to work. So yeah, certainly worth trying if you're on HD graphics, uh, Intel HD graphics. It's worked for me on this system. Um, and let me know in the comments below if it's helped for you as well. Um, obviously subscribe to the channel if you want to see more from us in the future as well and thanks for watching.